When a woman says she's a preacher, you a liar! It's a lie. Don't get on social media and say something bad about somebody else. You don't even need to give your opinion about somebody else on social media. Joyce Mayer is standing her ground, passionately defending her belief that God called her to preach the gospel. I'm anointed by God to teach the word. I'm his child. I'm called by God. And God's anointing gives me the authority that I need to do what I'm doing. You a lie. You a lie. God ain't never told a woman to do something that contradicts that Bible. That's right. Never. Don't get on social media and say something bad about somebody else. You don't even need to give your opinion about somebody else on social media. So, Joyce Mayer isn't having any of Pastor Jennings' claims. She fired back, sharply criticizing the tone of his message. She pointed out that there's something deeply wrong with anyone who speaks like that. Joyce advises that people should distance themselves from any Christian who talks that way. There's something wrong, deeply wrong, inside somebody when they have to say something like that, especially with that kind of a tone. And when you start hearing that kind of stuff from Christians, that's a good indication for somebody that you don't want to spend a lot of time with and you need to get away from. In a fiery response to Jennings' messages, Joyce made it clear she's not backing down. She emphasized that her calling isn't about what people think, but about a divine encounter where she felt God speaking directly to her affirming her mission to spread his word. I really didn't want to start a women's Bible study because I specifically felt like that God had given me a scripture in Philippians 2 that I was to hold out to all men the word of God. So I never really felt called just to teach women. I really felt like that the same word was for everybody and that I was going to teach everybody, not, yeah. not just women and so now let's take a look at what pastor gina jennings said jennings bases his argument on the belief that god never tells a woman to do something that contradicts the bible he firmly states that any woman who claims god called her to preach is a liar when a woman says she's a preacher, you a lie you a lie god ain't never told a woman to do something that contradicts that bible that's right never when a woman says she's a preacher you a liar! It's a lie. Every woman that says God called and sent her to preach the gospel, short According to Jennings, there's no biblical backing for women preaching, and he's not shy about making his stance crystal clear. Yeah, me good. Yeah, me good now. First Corinthians 14, now I'm at verse 34. Follow me. Let your women keep silence in the church. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 14, and we're at verse 34. Do you hear this? Let your women keep silence in the church. No, let your women have a trial sermon and ordain them bishops and elders and pastors. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Why? For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Do you hear this? But they are commanded. No, it's a request. They are commanded. Uh, maybe I think, I suppose. But they are commanded. It's a commandment given here. To be under obedience, as also saith the law. Do you hear that? That's right. They are commanded. Joyce Meyer has expressed offense at Gino Jennings' stance. She finds his biblical views deeply hurtful, especially when she consider her own conviction that she was called by God to preach. Meyer sees Jennings' teachings as not only dismissive of her personal feelings but also as undermining the contributions of countless women in ministry around the world. Now, this says that the Holy Spirit led Jesus into that situation where he was going to be tempted and tried by the enemy. Now, I'm sure that doesn't make a lot of sense to us, but you know, sometimes God will allow us to be in a situation because he wants us to have a victory that we can put in our belt that will become valuable to us later on. You know, people ask all the time, how do you know when God is calling you to do something? And it may sound like a, a lame answer, but you just know. Joyce Meyer stated that Jennings' preaching against her reflects a broader tension within Christianity regarding gender roles in ministry. She sees Jennings' stance as outdated and restrictive, failing to acknowledge the diverse gifts and callings that women can bring to the church. She sees her ministry as a testament to the power of God's grace and believes that her message of hope and empowerment transcends gender boundaries. She proclaimed she'll keep preaching the gospel with all the fervor and dedication she's got. Joyce Meyer made it clear her commitment is rock solid, driven by a profound spiritual experience that, in her eyes, confirms her purpose.
She's not letting anyone shake her faith or her mission. I mean, you know, it's like God puts such a strong desire in your heart. A critical person is proud. A fault-finding person is proud. A harsh person, somebody who's just hard on people, who's legalistic and has too many rules and regulations about the way they want everything done. Gino Jennings strongly emphasizes that according to scripture, women like Joyce Meyer should not preach. He asserts that Meyer's preaching ministry contradicts biblical teachings, particularly regarding the roles of men and women in the church. Jennings believes that Joyce Meyer, despite her popularity and influence, should not be preaching because of the clear instructions given in the Bible. He points out that Meyer's focus on success, wealth, and prosperity has led her to bypass God's words and has influenced her to take on a role that is not biblically sanctioned for women. When you began ministry, 1976 and the years that followed, mm -hmm. what was expected of women then mm -hmm. was very different than yeah. what God was calling you to do. Yeah. See, How did you deal with that? Well, I totally, when I started it, I wasn't even cognizant of the fact that women didn't normally do that. I mean, I was just so caught up in what I felt like God was telling me to do, and it was being successful. Jennings teaches that women can serve in other capacities within the church, but that preaching roles are reserved for men. Joyce Meyer believes that Gino Jennings' teachings are firmly rooted in his own understanding of Scripture, she believes they are controversial and have sparked a lot of debate within the Christian community. She argued that his interpretation of these passages is too rigid and fails to account for cultural context and the broader message of equality and inclusion found throughout the Bible. I mean, every time when God was calling me into ministry, I was rejected by family and friends. 